What's up everybody? Got a new figure review coming at you today. This is NECA's new Halloween 3 Season of the Witch 3-pack. They're retro style. Look at the box here in front. You got the three trick-or-treaters. Logo is embossed on the front. It has a nice like matte finish, so it's got a little bit of a reflection going on. Side here you've got the jack-o'-lantern, skeleton, and witch. The back you have the silver shamrock novelties logo. And then opposite side, same three picks. They did this box a little differently. It is a slip case. So slide that guy right off. And you have a nice window display. Side is the same. The back has a nice like old school ad for like a melon slip to get everything. Has a description for the jack-o'-lantern, the skeleton, the witch. Uh, prices for what everything would be, I guess, if you were to buy it from Silver Shamrock. Um, the top says, make it a happy, happy Halloween this year with Silver Shamrock. And then it has the uh, quotable tag from the commercial from the film. It's almost time, kids. The clock is ticking. Halloween is almost here, and you don't want to forget your mask. Silver Shamrock Novelties is your number one source for high-quality latex masks. The clock is ticking. Don't miss out on all the fun this year. Order now. Give you a nice view again of the whole box. In the front there, you can see everything that's included. You've got the skeleton, the witch, the jack-o'-lantern, and then each figure has a separate head sculpt. You've got normal mask, and then you have, after the event has started on the TV, they all have like snakes coming through their eyes. You get the TV, which is a very nice bonus. And there's also trick-or-treating bags in there for each figure. So I'll get this guy opened up and we'll come back and look at each individual figure, articulation, everything you wanna know. All right, and we're back guys. Got everything out of the package, all set up. Try to do a little bit of posing, a little bit of uh, adding, make things look a little bit better than straight out of the packaging. Um, let's go through the accessories first, and then we'll go to the figures. Um, basic things that come with the figure, as most figures, just extra hands. There's six in total, and I believe there are three left and three right. Yeah. Um, don't really go to a certain figure. They're all just the same skin tone, so any hand can go to any figure. Um, you also get a witch hat. Or not a witch hat, a jack-o'-lantern hat. And go boop. So you can choose how you want to pose that. And it is a little bit flexible, so you could probably bend it if you want it in a certain shape. The top has a little bit of bend to it. So if you want kind of like a crick in it, instead of it being straight, you could probably get it to do that. You just have to probably hold it there and let the rubber get used to the shape also get the alternative heads which like I said these alternative heads are after the commercial has commenced rather in the waiting rooms or at the end of the movie which we don't know actually what happened at the end of the movie all we see is Tom Atkins scream into the phone we don't know if he stopped it or not which I love that ending but the cool thing I do like that they added is you actually have the little chips that actually cause the death to commence that transmits with the commercial there's a lot of detail going on in these you can even see the eyes in there they're a little hidden but you can see them up in there nice pupil look i think it's got a little bit of a reflectiveness they look kind of glowy they are very good uh, as soon as they announced this set i had to have it i've loved Halloween since I was a kid. If I can get it to focus on there. There we go. You can see like the ooze melting. The like pus like substance. Again you got your chip. Oops. You also have the jack-o'-lantern. Again, that like pus-looking substance. Snakes, eels. There's all kinds of stuff that came out of that jack-o'-lantern in the movie. Snakes, eels, spiders. 
very, very good looking. The other awesome thing that came with it is the TV itself. So Shamrock's Silver Shamrock Novelties, and then if you move it back, you get the pumpkin. The oh-so-annoying song of that movie. Which a lot of people find annoying. I think it adds to the movie. It makes you go nuts, which I think is the purpose of that song. But I think this is probably the third or fourth TV NECA has produced. I know they did an exclusive with that Netflix special. Um, you've got the Freddy Krueger TV this TV and the They Live TV. So I hope they make more TVs. I like having TVs. We'll go to the figures now. So first we got the Skeleton Boy. She is really cool. He just has a full on like old school skeleton like onesie going on. And then you have the basic mask And you get that chip. And I like that they added the slits in the back because I mean that's how all old school latex masks were. They had that giant slit most of the time. And then they all come with their trick-or-treating bags. When you first get them they start out like this. They're just flat <clears throat> brown pieces of paper. So me I'm not like a pristine collector. I like adding stuff to it so I kind of roughed this one up just to give you an idea of what you could do. I just took some cotton in the bag, give it some bulkiness. You know these kids don't care if the brown paper bags get ripped or not. They just want the candy. Get home. Put him there. We also got the witch. Which has a lot more going on. She's got ribbons around her waist and on her around her neck. These would probably be tied better, which you could tie yourself. And then her bag is more of a traditional, like general store trick-or-treater bag that's decorated and holiday themed also stuck some cotton in there to give it some bulkiness so it just wasn't like a flat bag to the basic mask on her you got the tongue you can also see her eyes in this one maybe no i think they're blacked out so the other one has eyes which is very interesting and this is a plastic, it's very rubbery, so it's kind of like thin to make it look more hoodish. And the rest is cloth. And we'll go to Jack-O-Lantern here. So that's what the normal paper bag looks like. Uh-oh. Got a casualty. Stick her back up there. Oh, okay. We're just gonna leave them sitting there. They'll be all right. There's the jack-o'-lantern. He just has a basic black onesie. And that's what the normal bag looks like. I just have him holding it. Go to the normal jack-o'-lantern mask. He also has a Shamrock, silver shamrock there, and then the logo in the back. Yeah, not much going on with him. He's just a black onesie. Um, but for posability, they all have the same body type. So I'm just going to go through one. Obviously, the posability will be different per the outfit. Some of the outfits, the witch will probably get in the way more for doing full articulation. This one might stop it a little bit, but... You, know, you got full around the shoulder. And see, so you're gonna get a twist if you try doing that. So I'm gonna twist him back so I don't mess up his clothes. His wrist fully twists, bends. And then his arm has a bend in it. That back down. Same goes for the other arm. And then his head, 360. Also go up and down, left, right. Not as down as most figures. I think the mask kind of gets in the way of that doing that. But these aren't going to be very action-y, posy figures that you're going to be using. Um, you've got a bend in the knee. You also got a rotation in the leg, which 
I know you can't see very well. And then you've got a bend in the foot. No rotation on the foot, which I wish they would just do normal ultimate rotation on these cloth figures. It'd be so much better. And that goes down. But that is the full rotation on the figures. I'm just going to pose these guys sitting right here. They're just chilling out. Just got back for trick-or-treating. They're going to eat their candy. They're going to chill out, eat their candy, and watch the special because they can't be late. Yeah, that, that guys is the new NECA Halloween 3 three pack cloth figures. I'm in love with them. I'm really glad it's something that got made. It's one of those movies it used to have a lot of hate in the past. Um, here at the Horror Syndicate, we have deemed it no longer underrated. It has won brackets on the page. It gains more love every year. I feel like people have finally gotten past the fact that Halloween 3 is not about Michael Myers. And if you know the history behind that, it makes sense why he is not a part of it. Um, just gracious that NECA would make these figures. They're beautiful. The, the articulation is, I mean, it's like a basic figure, but it is, I'm just blown away that I could own Halloween 3 figures. It's just something I never thought would be possible. I love them. Um, as usual, I'm going to be doing more of these reviews once the more figures come out. We had San Diego Comic-Con is probably not going to happen, but I would imagine there are some figures that will be exclusive of that. Hopefully a horror so I can review them. Um, and then we have all of the Toy Fair reveals that I have plenty and almost all pre-ordered that I am interested in. So there will be a plethora of toys, collectibles, statues, props, everything like that coming in the near future. Um, as always, everything NECA co horror collectible, most, mostly, you can get at offkiltertoys.com. That's where I get everything. He's a local business out of California, helping the small guy instead of a big corporation. Um, great deals, fast shipping. And also, if you like horror figures, I want to match you like horror movies, and you can check me, Ray, Nathan, Jared, and Seth every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook Live for the Horror Syndicate's podcast discourse where we have a hour to two hour long show talking about a particular topic, movie, trilogy, director. Uh, this Tuesday we will be talking about Jordan Pills Get Out and then Thursday we will be talking about Jordan Pills Us. So hopefully you can go live with us, hang out, chat, talk, let us know your opinions. Um, I hope you like the reviews. I'm trying to get better at the toy reviews. Um, hope you enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments anything you want me to change, do better, want me to review. I do have older figures if you'd like me to review something older. Um, just let me know. Leave a like if you liked it, a dislike if you didn't like it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.